In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things were made through Him, and without Him was not anything made that was made. In Him was life, and the life was the light of men. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. And the Word became flesh, and dwelt among us, full of grace and truth. We have beheld His glory, glory as of the only begotten Son from the Father. And from His fullness have we all received grace upon grace. Greetings, this is Father Sam Moorhead, Rector of the Cathedral Basilica of the Immaculate Conception of downtown Denver, Colorado, and with it also Pastor of St. Elizabeth of Hungary on the Auraria campus. We have now celebrated all the glories of Holy Week and of Easter. We come to Divine Mercy Sunday. Let's begin this Rector's Report in prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Almighty God and Father, we thank you for the great revelation of your love in the life, the death, the resurrection of Jesus Christ. He is the very font, the source of mercy, of life, and of grace. As we have celebrated and keep celebrating the wonder of Jesus' resurrection, we ask that every grace, every mercy that he has won for us will be put out richly in our lives and bring us to the fullness of that abundant life he has offered us. Lord, spend, send your Holy Spirit upon us this week and always. We turn to the Blessed Virgin Mary, our Lady and Mother, as we ask her prayers now for us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Well, as we gather together, we come to Divine Mercy Sunday. But I want to look back in our time of the last two weeks, in which we have celebrated Holy Week, and Easter, and I want to begin with gratitude. First to God Almighty for all of the wonderful blessings that have been poured out upon us, each individually, our parishes collectively, the whole church throughout the world. I want to thank all of those at St. Elizabeth of Hungary who helped make the sacred liturgy in these special days possible under the leadership of Father Richard, a deep word of gratitude to all the parishioners there, to the focus kids and the community there. I also want to extend my gratitude here at the Cathedral Basilica to so many, to the Archbishop and his team for celebrating so wonderfully and well the sacred liturgy and all of these key days in which it becomes all the bigger and more consequential at the Cathedral Basilica. But I also want to extend locally my appreciation to John Brooks for his many years and his great work of ongoing service here at the Cathedral Basilica and overseeing the sacred liturgy to Jean Holmes and her wonderful volunteers as Jean and the Flower Lady make the church so beautiful in these days of the Triduum and Easter and beyond. So a special word of gratitude to such a beautiful display of flowers and decorations in the church. Of course, to Phil Forlo and to all of his wonderful musicians in our great choir. It is a stellar program. I am so proud of them. And throughout the days of the Triduum, Right on to Easter, we had so many beautiful, wonderful pieces that just lift our hearts, minds, and souls to God and to his glory. So to all of our staff, our volunteers, and those who make our life here possible at the Cathedral Basilica and St. Elizabeth of Hungary, a word of deep gratitude and my personal appreciation for all uh, that we have seen and we keep seeing in these days. Some special notes. This weekend, we celebrate Divine Mercy Sunday. Our Mass times are all as normal as Sunday Masses, but remember there can be a plenary indulgence for participating in the Church's Masses and the celebration of Divine Mercy under the normal conditions. So at the Cathedral Basilica, we're going to have our normal confessions on Sunday afternoon from 5 p.m. onward into the Mass. What a wonderful way to receive Jesus' mercy and to participate in the Divine Mercy celebrations on Sunday this Divine Mercy Sunday this weekend. Also, Divine Mercy Sunday will see us in the evening hours here at the Cathedral Basilica with another Corda Young Adult program. We're going to have a special presentation from Father John James as a part of our Pint with a Priest series. So for our young adults, those 18 plus into their 30s, 
I invite all of them to come join us after the 6.30 p.m. Mass on Sunday evening right downstairs in the basement, accessible off of Logan Street through the Double Doors, and join us for a drink, celebration in the Easter season, and a presentation from Father John Jenks on the theme of Divine Mercy for this Divine Mercy Sunday. Other than that, we've got a lot of great blessings in the life of our Cathedral Basilica and St. Elizabeth of Hungary. We had so many persons attend the Mass over the last two weeks. We are at all-time high of for the best we've seen of Easter attendance in the last 15 years. And also, people are so generous with their gifts and their kindnesses to the Cathedral Basilica and to St. Elizabeth of Hungary. So to all of our donors, our benefactors, a word of great gratitude and personal thanks in that regard. Finally, a note from our Cathedral Basilica and our staff. Joe Caleri has been our uh, uh, parish accountant here for the last oh, five years or so at the Cathedral Basilica. Joe's health has declined recently, and this last week uh, he passed away. And so the parish here at the Cathedral Basilica has lost our accountant. So to his wife, Linda, and to their children, a word of Deep appreciation for him, prayers for him, a personal gratitude, and prayers for consolation in this time. And keep Joe's soul in your prayers as we go forward and pray that the Cathedral Basilica is able, in good time, to find a replacement for him uh, for our parish accountant. With that, as we head into this Divine Mercy Sunday, know of my special prayers and blessings for you all. A continual, continuous Happy Easter as we celebrate these great days of the Paschal Tide. But for now, this Sunday, I will give you my blessing. The Lord be with you, and through the intercession of the Blessed and Holy Virgin Mary, of all the angels and saints, may Almighty God bless you all, the Father and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless you all. Many Easter blessings.